that I did with you know the fancy background and everything sometimes I like to do things like that because it's different and it's just fun to do and I found this song and I really liked it because it was like Spanish and it had like that beat I don't know I just thought it was nice and it fit like the whole Valentine's Day theme so I wanted to do something a little bit different I actually wore this to Gem Beauty on Saturday and a lot of you guys requested this look. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Right, I have this shower cap on because it's supposed to help with like frizziness. So I thought it was appropriate because obviously it has little hearts. It's super cute. I actually got it at Gem Beauty and it's from E Salon. It's called Everlasting Locks and it's supposed to help protect and maintain style. So the inside is like terry cloth. It's a uh, it keeps out moisture. So again, it helps my hair not get like really frizzy. So I kind of just had that on, um, but I'm gonna take it off because I feel like I look really, really dumb. I don't have anything on my face right now, so I'm going to start with my Benigma cream on my face. Since again, I have the scars, I'm gonna go in with my skin equalizer from Makeup Forever. So I'm just gonna put that on any areas that I have in large pores, which is pretty much here. I'm gonna put them on my cheeks because I have those acne scars so I kind of want them to be smoothed out and the foundation that I'll be using is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation this is NY325 also be using Milani's new brushes and the one that I'm using for my face is their foundation brush and it's kind of like a kabuki flat brush type brush and it's really soft I haven't used it yet but we're gonna go ahead and try it out Apply a little bit of the foundation on here and start in the middle of my face. Kind of just buff it out. They actually color matched me at Gen Beauty and this shade is like perfect. Yvonne was there from Makeup Forever. She's the national makeup artist um, and she is so sweet and so nice. She was so helpful. She actually tried the new concealers on me and I was like in love. Look at that. It's so pretty. Even coverage. And this brush is really cool. I really like this brush. I finished applying the foundation and now I'm going to skip the concealer and I'm going to start working on my eyes. So I'm going to apply my eyeshadow primer. And today I'll be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. Make sure to apply it evenly. You cannot go wrong with my famous glitter tape. For my eyeshadows, I will be using the Anastasia World Traveler eyeshadow palette. I'll be using the new Milani eyeshadow brushes, blending brush, the crease brush, and the all over eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go in with the all over eyeshadow brush and I'm going to just dab that on this shade here that is called Metallic. Apply that and dab that on my lid. Next, I'm going to go in with the crease brush and I'm going to apply Morocco on my crease. And then I'm going to apply black on the outer corner. Just dab it on both sides. On the outer corner of the eye. Then I'm going to go in with that blending brush and just blend. I'm gonna take the tape off, but so you see that sharp line, I'm gonna kind of diffuse it a little bit with the blending brush. With the same all over eyeshadow brush, I'm going to dip in to Soft Peach, which is a beige color. To use that on my brow bone. And of course I have to do my eyebrows because right now it's looking kind of crazy. So I'm gonna use my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Caramel. And then once I'm done with the Brow Wiz, I always like to go in with my Kiko Eyebrow Sculpt and fill in any spots that needed to be filled in. And now we're gonna do concealer because it is very important. Right now it doesn't look so bad, but 
it's gonna make a difference, I promise you. So as usual, we're gonna go in with my handy dandy MAC Correct and Conceal, and this is in the Burnt Coral, same one that I use all the time, and blend it. And once that is done, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Prep and Prime, and this is in Light Boost. I always like to let it sit there for a couple of minutes, and then I'll go in with the Beauty Blender and kind of just dab it in. Then to set the under eye area, I've been really loving this little Maybelline Dream Blender to kind of just set the under eye because it just fits so perfectly. I'm going to go in with that and the Airspun Translucent Powder. And I'll go ahead and set the rest of my face with this big Milani Powder Bronzer Brush. And just going to use that Airspun Powder all over my face. To contour my face, I'll be using a Kiko Bronzer and this is the Flawless Fusion. And this is just a bronzing powder. I don't know what number it is. That's the one that I'm using. And I'm going to go in with the Milani Blush Brush. I'm going to use it as a contouring brush. Really just contour face any areas that need to be darkened like the sides of the forehead and the top of the forehead and with the same brush I kind of just cleaned it a little bit I'm gonna go in with the city color which I received at gem beauty as well this highlight trio and I love this gold one here it's so pretty it's just beautiful so I'm just gonna swipe it once and then apply it right there. See, look at that. So pretty. But you guys know that I love highlighters. So I'm going to go in with more because I just love it. Because it's so pretty. The tip of my nose. Cupid ball. Just a bit. Next, I'm going to apply some mascara. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some falsies because it just looks better okay so i applied my mascara and obviously lashes you can definitely see the difference i actually tried these new lashes on i love ardell but i've never tried these before these are the soft touch 100 percent natural hair and these are in 162 and let me just say that they're a little hard to put on i don't know if it's because they're thicker than what i'm used to but they're really awesome they're really long they're like natural hair which is kind of weird but they look really good like i'm very impressed <laughs> i love them they really look good i'm not gonna apply any liner on top i think this is pretty good the only thing that i'm gonna do for the eyes i obviously apply mascara on the bottom but i will be using the stila kajal eyeliner and this is just a beige color and it's in topaz so this is just gonna open the eyes i feel like when you use white it's very harsh this is more natural and it kind of just blends in with your skin all right guys so now for the lips we're going to be using three different shades to achieve a very pouty and full lip so the lippies that i'm going to be using are these three two of them are from colourpop cosmetics and it's just their ultra matte lip and I'm going to be using Beeper Platform. And then I'm going to go in with this Amore Matte Lip Cream from Milani. And this is in Beloved. I'm going to go in with Beeper and I'm just going to outline my whole lip. Now I'm going to go in with the Amore Matte in Beloved. And just fill the rest of it in. And I, I'm going to go over the beeper color and then finally like i said this is a three-step lip process so the next shade that we're going to use is in platform and i'm just going to dab this on the middle part of my lips and that is the finished look for the lips <laughs> feel like I need blush so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some blush. I will use the blush brush by Milani and this Timeless Beauty palette by City Color and this palette has beautiful blushes and bronzers so I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I'm not sure what the name of it is. These are so pigmented. I'm literally just applying a little bit. And that is the finished makeup look. Let me just put my hair down. You guys, I also want to add that I've been using these products that I got at Gen Beauty as well. Everything that, majority of the stuff that I'm using is from Gen Beauty. The stuff that I've been really excited about um, trying is like the new hair stuff because 
it's been really working. I've been really loving these new products, especially these two because I never heard of this brand before. And I think the packaging is so cute and perfect for the occasion because it has hearts on them. So it's like perfect. So it's called Rock Your Hair. What I used today was the Girls With Curls Cream, which pretty much takes all the frizziness off of the hair. It gives it shine and it smells so good. Once you put it on, you feel it like it's just, just it kind of like defines the curls, it separates them. You feel your hair like really moisturized. I don't know what this thing has, but this stuff is amazing. I love this, love this stuff, love, love, love. And then I use this Moringa Dry Oil Mist. As you can see, I've used a lot of it already. It smells so good. Spray it at any time, smooths out any frizz, and I have been loving it. Like, look at my hair, look how pretty it looks. It doesn't look dry. Like it's already dry, it's not wet anymore, but it looks so moisturized and I love it. Like it just works really good for me. If you guys want me to do like a routine with just those two products, I mean it's so easy that I was like, why do I even want to do a routine with it? But just so you guys know a little bit more about the product, I can definitely do that. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and I hope you guys like the new products that I tried. Thanks again to Ipsy and Gen Beauty and everyone that was there, all the brands and all the free goodies that we received. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you to the people that, that said hi to me when I was there and a couple of you guys asked for pictures and that was very sweet of you. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button because you know you're gonna see more videos of me and you wanna see more videos of me because just because. <laughs> I'll see you guys on my next video.